This is the brand new DJI Mini 3 Pro and these are seven shots and effects that you can make yourself. Let's go. Now for this first one, you wanna start with your camera up against something. Then you wanna slowly fly your drone backwards while tilting the camera at the same time. It will create an epic reveal of your location. You can also add a very light speed ramp if you wanna speed up the overall effect. For this, you'll need to use your pen tool to create individual shapes around the image. Once you have one, simply make it 3D and then animate the rotation property using a few keyframes to get them to animate out. Now just copy and paste this multiple times until you have lots of layers doing the same thing. You can parent them to each other so one follows the next and then chop the ends off once they disappear off screen. Repeat this process and you'll end up with something that looks like this. Now I have a much more detailed tutorial on this exact effect in my full motion effects pro course. And if you're interested in checking that out, then there's a link in the description below and you can check that out for yourself. For this one, you wanna shoot a top-down view of your location, but for added effect, you can add a very slow twist while going up. You can also add a speed ramp in the computer for some more dramatic effect. So I've just come down to the second location down here, and actually, some of you might actually recognize this location down the back here. That's where I filmed my Travel Effects Pro course and my cinematic video. I actually filmed a little bit just down here as well. If you haven't checked that out, you can check that out. I've put a link in the description below. This works best on overcast days, but you can add clouds in for added effect to your video. I've done a full step-by-step -step tutorial already on my channel for this one, but it looks really epic when it's done. If you 3D track your drone clip, then you can create a 3D camera for your scene. You can source some PNG cloud images online and then just drop that into your comp and make them 3D. Perfect, now you have your clouds stuck into your scene. Similar to the pullback reveal, you fly with your gimbal pointing down and then slowly tilt up. For added effect, fly sideways while slowly decreasing the altitude or whilst panning the camera up or down depending on which direction you are flying. If you manage to do all of this smoothly together, the final result is much more cinematic shots because of the dynamic movement. This is a little more risky, but if you can fly through an opening of some sort, you can use that to create a transition point. I've covered this in more detail in an earlier drone video, but you essentially want to fly through an opening and then mask that window to see through to the first shot. When laid over the top of each other, you'll get your final finished effect. Now also before we move on, I wanna tell you about today's sponsor, Envato Elements. Envato Elements is a one-stop unlimited download graphic templates, music website that allows you to use them in all of your different creative projects, commercial or even personal, under this one license. Now, now I've personally been using Envato Elements for quite some time now because it just saves me hours in the editing process. When I need some titles or I need some graphics, I can simply just go on there and download what I need and they're all ready to go. I don't have to spend hours trying to recreate them all from scratch. Now even better is Envato Elements is now offering a seven day free trial. So you can download all of this stuff for free for seven days and it's only in selected countries. And if you also use my special link down in the description below, that's gonna give you 50% off an annual subscription. So check it out by the link in the description below. So this can be done using any light or dark clip. You basically take your two clips into After Effects and drop them on top of each other. For the top clip, you want to add the Luma effect, which will allow you to remove the lightest or the darkest part of the image. Add two keyframes to create a transition and add a little bit of feather for the final effect. What I found with this one is the better the two clips match, the better the overall result will look. This involves using the pen tool or roto brush to mask sections of the shot. 
If you're using a pen tool, then you'll have to create keyframes to keep your mask in position. Repeat this until you have all the sections masked out into individual layers. Then create keyframes for the position and animate them in to reveal the final shot. Drop in a second drone shot underneath until you have the finished effect. So that's it for this video. Now, if you like this video, I also have some other drone videos coming. And if they're already out, then you can check them out via the links in the description below. Now, if you like this video, I can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. You can also check out more videos just like this over on the side of screen. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.